cloudy day. Uh, we are at the hills at Genting Highland. Uh, we have just tested the reliability of the Lotus Elise S2 turbocharge. Uh, this turbo kit that has been developed by Julian. And uh, we are going to have, test it and see how reliable it is. Uh, so far, the test has been great. Uh, you can see that the car pulls very well on the road. The sound is great. Uh, all right, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm testing out uh, Julian's uh, turbocharge S1 1ZZ right now and see how it feels. I'm just going to take it for a short run. Uh, it's totally starting to rain. Unfortunately, I can't push too hard now. But I'm going to just test out just the power of the car, okay? driving the power is instant behaves very different from an exit uh, seems like the power is just enough for this one zz engine see i'm just cruising right now i'm not pushing it hard uh, but great just cruising on the gear three compared to mine it seems that right now the car has got so much power to offer me, you know, uh, waiting for me to go. Fourth gear pulling. My car won't pull like that. Can you hear the blow up sound? <laughs> Conclusion, this car is superb. I was told that uh, this car right now boosts at 0 0.5 bar uh, and on wheel is like close to 200 horsepower right now. How does it feel compared to my stock S2 1ZZ? This one, the power delivery is good. You know, it's like just after the 3,500 uh, RPM, the turbo kicks in and the car just flies. It feels wonderful to drive this car right now, right? So, uh, as compared to an Exige, I mean, probably the, the Exige will pull much faster. But the Exige being also a, a much harsher car, I find that the suspension is also very hard. This one, the suspension has been tuned for a little bit on the comfort side. So, therefore, on a normal road like that, uh, it feels great to drive this car. The power is beautiful, you know. Uh, I, I'm go getting almost like double the amount of... Uh, g-force on this car compared to mine uh, um, my car in order to get the power out i need to wrap uh, very high onto each rpm you know uh, redlining it almost on, on every gear in order to get the full power of the 1cc stock this one i don't need to you know it's just like after 3.5 uh, rpm the car just pulls away and you can hear the turbo kicking in uh, and you uh, the blow off wow, the sound is so great. The exhaust somehow it, it's um, it's so nice. It's so 
wow, this car is uh, very nice to drive right now. It's my conclusion, you know, just a uh, very good power delivery compared to a very stock car. Okay, so well done, man, Julian. Yeah, for developing this kit. Excellent. Right, so let me draw some conclusion. Okay, we do this two gentlemen. Okay, I've got um, Jeffrey here who was uh, also tailing uh, him at the back. And uh, we have got Julian here. So, how do you find the car, Jeffrey? Uh, tailing him. I can see that you're also playing with him. You know, <laughs> overtaking him and slowing down. I what is what is your take uh, of the car? I think the Elite S2 with a turbo inside that is really very good. You don't, if you have no intention of going supercharger, the 240, I think that will do. You will enjoy the car. Right. I think from my uh, short test drive and going through the corners, uh, the handling feels great, you know, I, I'm so used to a Lotus Elise uh, stock. So this this uh, suspension is still stock, right? Oh no, it's uh, Nitron. Oh, it's Nitron. Yeah, no wonder yeah, yeah, it handles yeah. so much better than mine. <laughs> okay, mine is still on the, on the uh, stock blind sign. But this Nitron is great on the corners, alright? Uh, but yet, it's not as bumpy as an Exige. That, that's my take about it, okay? So, properly tuned, exactly. I think uh, it's uh, in terms of the, uh, the handling, uh, but in terms of the harshness, it also is very, very refined. That's what I can do. Uh, I, I can feedback. Power delivery is instant. Once you hit past the 3000 RPM, the turbo kicks in. You can hear the blow off valve later on and the car just pulls. Okay, it's like I'm getting double the amount of power on this car. On my car, I need to rev red liner to every gear in order to have the, the, almost the same power. But this car, you don't need to red line. Okay, you get to 4,000 RPM, the car will pull away like an exit. Okay, so that's my, my experience with this car. But I'm going to ask Julian now, I'm going to put him on yeah. spot. How reliable is this car? Uh, uh, turbo charge now, right? Uh, and from your testing so far in the last uh, few weeks, what is your take in terms of reliability of uh, this uh, turbo kit? Um, reliability so far, I think it's okay. I've been driving... Like Matt, um, red lining, doing 6,000 RPMs, like uh, almost all the way from Malacca to Right, Kiel. right. Uh, right now, still okay. <laughs> right now, still okay. Yeah. It looks so, okay. Uh, I was very, uh, we are very concerned about the temperature. Yeah. Uh, and the temperature so far has been running below 100. You know, and in my test run just now, I've been pushing it a little bit. Uh, and when I come back at idling, it is still at 97. Which is very healthy yeah, for a stock Lotus Elise S2 without having oil cooler, without having added, uh, additional fan, uh, having the stock radiator. I think uh, in terms of temperature, it seems to be holding well. Okay, So let's see uh, on the long run whether the, the engine can also uh, hold up as well. But so far, it has been proving well. Okay, uh, Truly, it's an amazing car. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in uh, Malaysia, we call, we call this kena racun already, you know. <laughs> I kena racun with this turbo kit onto my own car now. All right? so, uh, I don't know how you feel. Leave me a comment as to what you think about turbo charging our stock Elise 1ZZ S2. Okay, for now, goodbye.